think we may actually be live now. Uh, sorry, everybody. It took us a second. I uh, had some technical issues, but we hopefully got the technical issues resolved. So welcome one, welcome all. Uh, y'all come on in, make yourself at home. And as soon as I can get this thing going, then I will hopefully have um, have wife join me, or April, I'm sorry, not wife, April join me. Uh, yeah, y'all come on in and spread some love, throw them hearts up as you make your way into uh, into the feed. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all had a, a wonderful holiday. I hope y'all had a very merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Uh, if you're celebrating Christmas, if you're celebrating Kwanzaa, if you're celebrating Hanukkah, uh, where is April? That is a good question. Hopefully she will make her way over here sooner than later. Um, she is in the building though. So she is actually preparing Christmas dinner on the day after Christmas. If somebody can help me understand what that is about. April is here. Y'all calm down. Do y'all get this excited and go, where's Royale if I'm not in the show? No, they don't. They do do y'all get this excited? I don't see nobody going, where's Royale? Boring. I'm boring? Uh, yeah. Hi, what's okay, up? Okay, all that in my ear? That see, is a that, lot. He's cr- Let me tell you something. He is like a 90-year-old man. Cranky. Everything bother him. I want to go out impromptu. Where we going? At what time? What's th- Nobody got time for that. So I'm letting you know. Mm-hmm. Go you ahead. are going to be home alone. You think I'm going to be home alone? Well, I don't care where you go. All I know is I won't be here with you. Okay. That's for sure. So um, now that we got that out, so I don't want to yell in your little delicate 90-year-old ear. That's just a courtesy. If I did that, you wouldn't appreciate me babe, yelling in your seconds. ear. It's not like I'm going on for 10 minutes yelling like, okay, baby, that's 10 minutes. I just said that. You're down. talking about I'm becoming I'm older. Okay, no, you're, you be excited. You're cranky. You you're know what? Cranky. This is exactly. This is it. No, I'm not cranky. You are. You are just, you're a party pooper i'm a party pooper. oh absolutely <laughs> okay you are um you know what i wanted to talk about surviving the holidays and this is exactly the energy and spirit of the stuff that we need to be discussing because so many marriages come to a close around this time of the year why i got a couple of inbox because of the pressure of christmas we ain't have no precious. We ain't buying. We. Anything. I'm not talking about. Yeah, we didn't buy anything. Fortunate no, enough. Nothing. Fortunate enough. We, you, and I came to the conclusion that we were not going to participate in the commercialization of Christmas this year. And I'm gonna tell you something. I am super duper one impressed with your ability to embrace that, but two that you actually follow through. And didn't get me anything. It's not a damn much thing. not a look. I don't know. We gonna cuss a, on this. Not a motherfucking thing. <laughs> I didn't open one thing for lie. Christmas. No, no, no. Because even the thing I, that you got me in the bag. No. Well, don't. I'm no. I'm just saying. I'm not no. All right. Yeah. All right. Snitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wrong size. Oh, sorry. Extra large. I got you. No, you got me large. Well, you but I'm an extra me. large. I don't what. Okay, go ahead. I'm just saying the front part. Okay. I need more room. Oh, okay. And, and them drawers. That's the <laughs> my, No, my Your penis is getting... Not hey, my, don't talk about that thing. What? I'm just saying. it's My macaroni and cheese. Soon as that time will go off, I got to go get that mac and cheese. But go ahead. Okay. So, um... I yeah, ask for I, nothing. You know why? Because I sneak and get whatever I want on any day of the week. It don't. But we don't. Christmas. Yeah, we don't do Christmas. It's not like you get denied or we get denied. We deny ourselves, should right. I say, the things that we want during the year, so we don't have this expectation that we have to wait until Christmas. Oh, can I stop for a second and just say how that how crispy that after I do shirt? Yo, look? who got this shirt? This is a good. Can I just say how t-shirt. crispy my after I do? T- don't why are you grabbing my t shirt? Because I just it? like you manhandling I me. I love all? the feel. It just stretches. It's a good t shirt. The people that got them know. Yeah, shout out to Yetter and Leonard who uh, I just you. posted their photo. My man Leonard was in the picture with his wife. <laughs> I like that crispy as hell. It was 
nice. I appreciate everybody that bought their t-shirt and everybody who replied afterwards. It was only a 30-day campaign, so we're gonna do it again. Hopefully, we'll have it back up. Shortly. I think we should do it again for um like for no no for uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah, Valentine's. But Day. you have to start before because they would want it. Hopefully, so if you start at January fifteenth and end, Sheena, we're thinking about Valentine's Day, but maybe maybe a little earlier, like January fifteenth. And I don't know. I don't want to do it that that soon. But you, you, it's for thirty days, and then they can. Tr- hopefully, we can get them out by um, Valentine's Day. Oh, there's uh, is that you, yet, Yetta? Yeah, it is, Yetta. She said thank you. Yes, tell Leonard we said thank you too. So, do you hear what I'm saying, baby? I always hear what you're saying. So. They're going to get it by Valentine's Day. You would have to start it in early January so we can get it to them. Shaka said that um, mahogany lipstick looks good on you with that. Thank you. I'm not giving that, like, this person any shout outs because I'm coming out with my own lipstick. Like your nail polish. Yeah, I still have my nail polish. Okay, so let's get it popping. Hey, you know what? When you have a cosmetic <laughs> line, you have different products. I have nail polish and now moving on to lipsticks. What you got to say about Could y'all it? Could y'all offer more colors for the t-shirts? Jacqueline, we will offer more colors in the future. For right now, we are offering black and gray. Those are the standard colors that we're starting with. Yeah, At some point in the future, stop. yeah, we're not it's doing red, stockpile. blue, pink. Yeah, let's yeah, you know, black. When I see somebody with this, listen, I tell you what. Oh Lord, go My get the macaroni <laughs> and cheese. Do not hurry up, baby, and come back. You know what? You're so reckless. Um, we are starting with, oh my gosh. is it crispy? It looks so beautiful. The mac and cheese? Let me see. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to go. Let me take and show them the mac and cheese. You, y'all about to see this mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh my God. I think y'all I Y'all about recipe. to see this mac and cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. Who wants some? Who wants I, some mac uh, and cheese? What else we got? Anything else ready? No, nothing else is ready. Okay. I'm about Okay, she about to put the yams in the oven. Got the yams. The yams about to go in the a oven. Big ass pan of yams. Come back in here when you're done. Okay. All right, back to the show. I know. I had to show y'all that mac and cheese though, because the mac and cheese is about to be Yo, lit. The mac and cheese looks good. Just like the mac and cheese. <clears throat> um, pink or red for Valentine's Day? No. no. April said no. Wow, she shut that down immediately with a no, GIA. Like, I don't know. You know what? Let me not say that. I take that back. Yeah, we'll see. But we'll I see. the quality of the shirt to be quality. What do you yeah. mean? It's going to be the same brand. It's going to be the same brand. Be the same brand. Oh. We're not, even if we, um. All right. All right. Oh, my God. I'm just saying it'll be the same company. Okay. And now they're asking for V-neck. See what you just started? Um, we will see, but we will definitely do female sizes. So we'll make that adjustment, um, to female sizes. Uh, all right. Um, did you get information about the movie producer tagged you guys in it? I'm not, um, Tracy, I'm not sure. Uh, so you can inbox anytime you guys want to send us some information, please send it to the inbox. If you tag it, I may not see it. April has certainly been way too busy to see stuff. So the safest way to ensure that we will see anything is if you send it to our inbox, private message, message us, and we will, as one of us will respond. You know what? Not me. Let me not say one of us. I will respond. And if it's specifically for April, please make a note to say this is for April and I will get April to pay attention to it. All right. Okay. Um, before we go any further, since somebody mentioned it, yes, rest in peace to a uh, comedian actor Ricky Harris, my dear friend who passed on, I think either today or late last night. So rest in peace, Ricky Harris. Um, but I want to get back to surviving Christmas. I want to get back to the thing that you posted, which was you're gonna be taking some trips by yourself. Um, because I was not. What was your What's your issue? What's going on? Talk to me. No, it's not beating a dead horse. It's just you're not fun sometimes. I'm not fun sometimes? No, this is what he'll do. He'll know we're going somewhere. And this is a prime example. He won't eat, right? So now we're rushing for time. We can't go somewhere to eat before. So while we're at the concert or whatever, he's steady looking at the watch, you know, 
His stomach is growling. He want to leave the concert two to three songs before it's over. I stay to a concert till it's over. I don't care about the traffic. I don't care about none of that because I'm out. I don't care. I know how to take care of myself. I'll stay even later and be the last one to leave. I don't care. He want to leave. Now we flying around L.A. trying to, you know, get somewhere before 11, 1130, before whatever he wants to eat is closing. And it's too much. Then it's like it's too much pressure when I go out with him. It's like I'm like this because I know it's not going to be fun. So I just I'm not going to go with you. And I love you. I just you're not the person you're not. You don't have that. Let's go. Whatever happens, by, you know. You're not my ride or die concert person. I need a concert person that knows how to finagle it. If the place is closed, we'll just try something else. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. That's not for me. No, you're not not that person. And then when we find somewhere to eat, whatever's on the menu, he don't want that. He want to make up something. Well, can you do the panay? I want what I I want. want. With lobster. It ain't on the menu. So now we got to go through. Listen, nobody should be ordering off the menu. I'm talking. And then we got to sit there for 20 minutes later. Me and the kids like, here he go. He got to ask, can you do this? Can you add this? Can you? It's not fun. He is turning into an old, grumpy, 90-year-old man. So I don't like going to dinner with him. I don't like going to concerts with him. And when we travel, he don't like that we get there. He don't want to go out. There's no nightlife. He's just sitting there reading a book. I'm like, you know what? Bump on the log, you could have stayed home. That's it. So I'm going to travel by myself. My girlfriend went to Argentina today by herself. That's so gutsy and ballsy. Like, I got to start doing that. Like, I have a week off. I should have packed my 10 scripts in my little bag and found me a cheap flight to Jamaica somewhere. Went and sat on the beach, read my scripts, had a pina colada, and bought my ass home afterwards. But no, I try and wait for this one. You know, do you want to go? Do you, you know, da da da? Yeah. Oh, man, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. So am you're going to be home. Am I back? You're back. Okay, no. good. So I think what we have here is a classic case of someone who, one, needs to embrace the ability to, to go out and, and, uh, and explore on her own. But I also think that in addition to that, we have someone who needs to loosen up a little bit and be present and enjoy the moment and find the way to glow with the go with the fluff. So I will admit that I am wholly guilty of going places and I don't like to eat. I want what I want. Right. And well, then you should eat before you even go to the concert. But there's nothing wrong with going into a restaurant. The, the menu Let's is just a guide. Let's go one at a time. Let's go one at a time. When, but if you know we're going to a concert, you need to eat. Pack a sandwich, bring some chips or something. You get there and you're starving. Who doesn't eat all day and go to an eight o'clock concert and want to leave at 930 because they, they ready to eat? That makes no sense. Go eat beforehand. Or schedule something so we can have a nice dinner at 6 o'clock, get to the concert by 8, and enjoy the concert because I'm staying to the end. When I go with you, I don't stay to the end. When I go with my girlfriends, I stay to the end. We figure out what's open. We shoot the bossa nova or whatever, and we have a great time. Not you, because he's already got in his mind what he wanted to eat all day. So if it's Mastro's or... Um, what else does he like? Some other restaurant. Pagliacci's. Pagliacci's or whatever. He's already got it in his head. He already know what time they close. So now he's trying to rush. It's everything closed so damn get, early. Well, then that's the problem. You got to eat before. That's it. People say you're always supposed to eat before anything. Mm-hmm. I don't operate like that. Well, then that's wrong, babe. Or if, then don't Well, go it's not that it's concert. wrong. It's just that it's something that you want me to adjust and change. Well, you... If, you suppose that person is right because you get somewhere and you don't know what they're going to serve if there's any food. So you need to be prepared. If you're that grouchy, then you need to eat a full meal before you head out because it is not fun to be, you know, I'm dancing and I see you sitting there and I know you're looking at the watch. So now I got to time my having fun based don't on Don't ever restaurant. time you're having, don't no. time you're having fun. No. Live, you, sweetie. You know, it's, it's, it's your whole attitude. Your attitude just ruins. Kelly Kells, everything. I just said I'm going, but do you not hear me? No, I'm not a Virgo, Janet Walker. I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. All right. 
So I just said that I'm going to work on adjusting that. Yeah. That's not the first time we had this conversation. It might not be the last time, oh, but again. It's the last time for me. <laughs> you won't be hearing from me, buddy. And I went to see something without you. You like, what about me? What about you? You went to see Mary J. Blige and, yep. and Maxwell. Goodbye. Not, I'm not. Unless you buy the ticket, that's how we go. If there's a concert, I'm not buying a ticket. Well, I'll you. tell you what. We have a concert that's upcoming. So this conversation. New Year's Eve concert. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? And I'm dreading every minute. because You I don't can, have I to dread a minute. They smoke it. It's weed. Oh, this is true. It's this. This is it's true. <laughs> They're like, going to be smoking weed. I have seen Wu-Tang without you, and I had a ball. And you are not going to ruin my experience. So if you don't, if they're going to be smoking weed. You'll be smoking drugs. They're going to have drugs. So you can stay at the hotel, and I'll take Royce. You're not taking my kids to no damn concert. I, brought, I took they... them to the last Wu-Tang concert. Oh, and they God. were up front, first row, having Getting a contact high. The- it don't matter. They Calling done child services whiskey, on your ass. Uh, they done seen everybody. Weed Snoop is... Snoop Dogg. They done seen everybody. They know what weed smell like. So I'm telling you now, if you think you're not going to enjoy it, I need you to stay in the hotel room and I'll take Ross, I mean Royce with me to, to the concert. Because there's no need of you not having fun because it is crazy. It is wild. It's woo. Ain't nobody sitting at Wu Tang like, okay, here's the next. You are like Wu, like it's okay. A I plan to yes, I plan to have a good time. So let's not, let's just embrace it. Okay. I plan to have a good time at the Wu Tang concert for New Year's in Vegas, in Las and Vegas. And I had to twist it. We, you know, we're going. Okay, what like? Mm. Okay, everybody, I got it. Eat before you head out. I will eat before I head out. I will have something. It's Enough already. I buffets. motherfucking <laughs> got it. Jesus. No, because they trying to help us stay married. Like, yo, you're going to be left behind. Um, Virgo said her and her husband take separate cars, but she she loves to stay to the end and he likes to leave early. That, high five, girl. Yeah. I'm learning. I got it, though. I got it. And I feel bad because I don't want to travel and have these experiences around LA and different things, but it's too much. You know, you wake up, you may see something on Facebook or Eventbrite or whatever, the LA, I forgot the other one that says today, opening at such and such gallery or whatever. You just be like, okay, I want to go. He got to know who going to be there. What time? Where we got to go? It's too much. It's way to Ebony, off topic, what? I just shaved the beard before we went live. Literally before we went live. It just was... I'm surprised you didn't say anything. You know, I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, it just goes to show you how much you're paying attention to yeah, your damn I, husband. I am, like, blocking you out right now. Blocking me out? I ain't even noticed. Wow. Because I'm getting, like, it's, you know... You fed up to here and you're not even that tall yet? Listen. We'll fix all that. I'll get you to fall you back got, in love. He's got so much. It's not that I'm not in love. It's just that you're not fun and you're not spontaneous and you, you have these set rules. Like we have to be here. We, you know, we, we've already talked about this. So you address, you know, once Ross leaves, you know, we can think about being bi-coastal and all of that. But I think you're just doing it for me. I don't, I want you to do it because you want to do it. So my thing is, you don't have to stay on the East Coast two to three months if I'm there. You can stay wherever you want to stay. I'm yeah, but saying. listen, here's the thing. I don't want it to be an issue for you. I know I love spending time with you. I am I have not been as spontaneous lately just because I have so many things on my plate and a lot even more on my damn mind trying to get these projects done, trying to set things up. We got the kit. Is that your face you're going to make right now through the whole conversation? I'm listening. That's your listening face. That's my listening face. That's a damn lie. I'm listening. Okay. That's your listening face. That other face. That's not your listening face. <laughs> you I know. Are, how I long have I... I'm listening. Go ahead and So, talk. the re... Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. moving on. Nah, because no. you're being a real jerk right now. I'm not now. being a jerk. It's just when you hear it a million times, I don't... Like, I don't... know. I, I want you to stop talking and just do. How about that? So, I'm not going to listen right now. When you so, that means... It, yeah, the eye roll. See just, that? Kenneth Crouch, you know what I'm talking about. See the eye roll? I I know this woman. I've been with her way too long. But, I, know I know the know way you. if her lips are but a certain this way. This is 
a reaction of what you're saying because Kenneth, I've heard it. Yoshi, this ain't no rested listening face. I've heard it. You know what I'm saying? At some point, Listen, you gotta put your the thank action. you, Denine. I will continue. So put go ahead and continue listening. I want you to embrace the notion that if you feel like you need to travel by yourself because I'm not engaged or I'm not completely present at the moment. That should not be an issue for you. But when I have the opportunity, I'm going to be fully engaged. Right. And beyond that, one of the most important things that I find is that you have to be able to say, hey, mister, I need to have a conversation with you. There's something that's not working for me right now that we need to adjust. And I find that, again, as I started the conversation earlier, we have so many people in relationships and marriages that they hit the Christmas wall, right? They hit this Christmas wall where this time of the year seems to bring up so many issues, challenges for people who are trying to do way too much and they don't know how to communicate through this time of the year to be able to get to January, February, March, April. And certainly, based on everything that's going on right now, uh, politically, we need people to be stronger than ever in their relationships, families, and marriages because the universe is about to throw a whole new fucking bag of uh, challenges at them that they're going to need to be able to survive. <laughs> you know what? You're being a real jerk right now. I'm listening. So you're still I listening. I am still, I got ears and I hear you. Okay, so now I'm going to go all the way in this since you got ears and you want to hear me. I feel like there is so much more for us to accomplish together, right? But what I am learning now is that you have to be more than just married, right? You have to be on the same page. You have to have a plan. You cannot be in a ship, right? And expect that ship to be properly navigated if you don't have a direction in navigation, if you don't know where you're going, right? And in this marriage, all marriages, in order to be successful, you got to have two people that's trying to get to the same place. And I can say that, for our marriage, sometimes we have not been on the same page about where we're trying to get to. And it has only been as of recently that I've come to the conclusion or the realization that there needs to be a regular conversation had on a weekly basis about where we're trying to go. Because we just put Royce on the plane to go to New York City, right? Right. The realization that this dude won't be living in this house very soon has just hit me like a ton of bricks. So we got one kid who is starting to now position himself to go off to college. We have another kid that's right behind him, what, two years behind him, that will be going to the damn 11th grade in the fall. And so where does that put us in two years after he now graduates empty nesters empty nesters so that means it's just going to be the two of us mm -hmm. having a lot of sex <laughs> finally <laughs> again Woo i'm not gonna be here you're you gonna be here listen <laughs> trust me no real talk i'm super excited because what i'm now starting to understand is that these marriages, they got to be, they have to be more than marriages. You can't yeah, just be so on cruise much. control. It's a lot. It's a lot. But you need both. You, I need you. Like, I've come to the real, realization that I need you in this marriage. This shit can't work. I can't do it by myself. And I can't, you know, one of the things that um, I used to do was go into my own space and try to figure everything out by myself going, okay, I'm going to figure this stuff out. I'm going to make it work for you. And that's just not how marriage works. 
Like you got to be on the same page and talking about what you're trying to accomplish together as a team. We're out here on this field trying to win and the field is the universe and there's a lot of stuff going on. Right. And if you and I are not having constant conversations about how we're making adjustments, what's coming up next, how are we preparing for what's next, then we're going to lose or we're going to take a loss. And we don't need to be taking losses at this point. Yes, Tracy, teamwork. That's why that's the name of my company. But here's the thing. All of that sounds good, but I can't be drawing up the plans all the time and trying to time out and get you to sit down and listen. I need you to pull me to the side sometime, time out, and have your list. I feel like I'm nagging you when I go down the list. Royce has to go to New York. Royce has to do this. Royce has to do that. Royce has to do this. Ross has to do that. And what about this trip? And what are we doing here? It's tiring. I run the ship. I don't want to do the master plans anymore. I don't want to. Yeah, so I understand. But here's the thing. You're going to have to do it. We, no, we are going to have to do it. We, everything has to be we from now on. We can't be two ships moving in the night trying to figure this thing out. I promise you. Moving forward, my whole mentality is going to be about the we. We're going to sit down and have a weekly we meeting. Don't make that face. <laughs> no, seriously, because I'm I, so sincere right now. I hope so. I'm so sincere right now. Okay. Trying to, I told you, I'm reading. I'm trying to get this shit together. I have to figure yeah. out we have the opportunity to do some amazing things. I'm not even, I'm going to tell y'all, so honestly, look. We had some folks reach out to us that follow that follow our page and say, hey, we want to be in business with you guys um, to help you guys put a TV show. Yeah, don't let our food burn. Um, and if it's something that looked good, let me know. I'll show them. But we're going to get a television show on the air. It's only going to happen with the we uh, mentality and approach to things, right? Everything has to happen in, I believe, the universe's time. But we got to be on the same page in order to position ourselves to make these things happen. We got to be on the same page. Okay. What you about to tell them about? The mac and cheese is delicious. But I read somebody's note a little too, you know, because everybody graded five stars. Somebody said, do not add the salt that they tell you to add because it's already salty. I got that note when it was in the oven. I'm like, God, it's just, you know, but once you mix it with the rice. And okay. You got that food out your system. It's good. Okay. Okay. I just had to. But Kenneth Prouse, you know what I'm saying, bro. Babe, let me tell you something. All that sound good. Can I ask you for one favor? No, I, I'm Caribbean and I smack. I'm going to smack. You are not Caribbean. I am. <laughs> Stop. So listen. <laughs> No, seriously. Here's the issue I have. I hear everything you're saying. I appreciate you coming to the table. But what happens with you men, y'all wait until the shit is way, it's not even here anymore. It's way up here. So I am fed up. So now it takes for me to get way up here for you to say, eh, okay, mm, I ignored all of this stuff way too long. She's serious. Yes, I'm serious. And now that I'm here and I'm over it, I don't want to hear about no meetings. I don't want to hear about no tutors. I don't want to hear nothing because I'm doing me. I'm working. Got my own money. And I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm working. Got my own money. Meaning if I want to buy, schedule a trip, I'm going to schedule a trip. I don't yeah, but I don't you. think you should frame that as I'm working. I got my own money. Well, meaning I don't take from the family. You know what I mean? I have my own money now. So if I want to schedule a trip, I can, you know, I pay myself every week a certain amount of money. That's for me. And once I get to a certain amount, if it's enough for a trip, I'm going to take a trip. I pay myself every day that I work because I don't eat lunch. I don't do that. So that money goes into my own little savings account that I'm able to do what I want with. And y'all can have everything else. It's not even, it's more, y'all get 95% of everything. Who, my us kids. as the family? Yeah. Oh, okay. Everybody, yeah. y'all, y'all get whatever. So I'm gonna keep my little bit, and I'm gonna meaning your five percent. Yes. Okay. That's for me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, and I'm going to start doing more things. But here's the issue. Yes, it sounds good, and you're gonna come to the table and all of that. 
but I'm here and I don't even know if I want to come to the table because I don't want to talk about it. So that's why I'm saying you have to come. If we come to the table, you have to tell me what time, what we're going to do. And I'll sit down and I listen and I will interject, but I'm not going to write out the master plan anymore and say, Hey, baby, baby, baby can I have two minutes? You know, I got to go to the office. You know, I got to do this, that I'm done with that. So before you go, if you want me, you know how I email you. I put it on your calendar. I text you. You're going to have to do that for me to sit down because I'm not, I don't, it's not that I don't care. I just don't have it anymore. I don't want to do it. It's not fun. Nobody wants to do it. And when you're sitting there, I have, you know how many times I say, are you listening? Mm -hmm, I'm listening. Because you don't want to listen. Nobody wants to listen to that shit. That's but you have to do it. That's the whole point. Nobody wants to listen. So when I'm there going over this and doing this, over this and over that, you're you're sitting there and your mind is, I'm going to the office. I got to do this propose, proposal. I got this one sheet to do. I got that. And I'm like, okay, so for the summer, I want to go here and I want to do this. And don't forget that we have this tuition due. And don't forget that. You got a dental appointment and then, uh, uh, mm -mm, I'm good. I do not want to do it anymore. No, thank you. I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to let you schedule all your doctor's appointments. I'm going to let you do whatever you need to do. When you want me to sit at that table with you, you're going to have to stop me the way I used to stop you and say, hey, we need to have a conference. I'm all ears. Other than that, shit gonna go awry. I'm getting Royce into school. Once the, he gets his acceptance letters and we sign off on whatever school, Royce is on cruise control. Do answer your mail, your emails, pack your bag, and I'll see you. Only concentrating on Ross Watkins. I'm gonna get him past the finish line, and then I'm done. Yeah, see, I, I think, hey, Londa, shout out to you and your husband for, um, for checking us out. Um, I don't think, based on what I'm saying right now, that's the approach that is going to seamlessly match up to what I just offered. But I hear you. Hmm. I ain't got no voice. Because okay. you got to show and prove. Um, the, the first day you sit me down for a meeting and have some shit on the paper, that's when I'll believe. Okay. And I'm not trying to be nasty and smart. No, no, no. I'm not taking guess, it. You know, I'm not I'm taking tired. it as nasty. I'm tired. No, no, no. I'm not taking it as nasty at all. I okay. just come to the realization that sometimes as a husband, you just have to do. Yes. You just have to do. Cause everything you're saying makes sense to me. Um yeah, Jennifer said, but April, where's the work for the, where's the work for the marriage in that process? Um, it's there. It's, it's, it's somewhere hiding behind all of that. Jennifer, I'll get to it. But I know what April means. She's, she, she's well intentioned. Um, but she just does so much. She just needs me to now to, uh, to sit Catch in up. the, she needs me to sit in the driver's seat and actually do the driving at this right. point. That's a better way of probably wording it. But it's yeah. all good. Um, yeah, Sharon, I don't know if April's fed up. She's saying she is. Well, maybe she is fed up. Oh, I am fed up. I'm not just saying it. Fed up in what regard? Man, we ain't got 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh my God. I'm fed up with a lot of stuff. Me personally? You are a lot of it. Yeah, we have to get on this. If we don't get on the same page, I just, I'm nervous that we're going to go like this. You know? No, nah, we ain't, I ain't never going to let us go like, like that. I just feel like I had the, I moved from New Jersey. I, I'm out here. I had children right away, making friends, losing who I am, not working, being trapped in this house. And now I see all the things that, that the like we're not that compatible. Like he'll like do nothing that I like to do, and it's like really. But when I was busy with the kids, I didn't realize that. So a trip here or going out there was fun. But now that we got a lot of freedom, we don't do nothing. Like it, it seems like we would be really out and have so much we could do, go play golf or whatever, and we don't do nothing. It's like who is this person? 
But I think he was like that the whole time. I was just busy. You know what I mean? And then when I do ask him to do something, he never wants to do it. So it's like, I don't know. I, I just can't figure it out. I don't have any answers. Not on the verge of divorce or anything. I just feel like we're we're growing. It's 23 late years later. We're different but people. The- I'm maturing. I'm a woman. I'm middle age. I have my hormones kicking. You know, so it's like, I gave up a lot, so now I don't want to. I'm not willing to do it. I'm ready to go. Like, I've been in this house 17 years raising kids, PTA meetings, baking, cooking, meeting. I'm tired. I- I'm just saying it's a new me, meaning I am going to work more. I have a set of friends. I like to go out. And he doesn't like to do any of that. No, I wouldn't say I don't like to do any of that. Let's just keep it honest. I Maybe would say, you no, this. You don't like to have parties. I always, I mean, this house was a party place. We have a party. Everybody looking for Royale. He's upstairs, might be asleep, or he upstairs watching TV. I'm down here. It's 75 people in the house. He sneaks off and he's somewhere else. So I don't like to give parties anymore because he's not my host with me. You know, I want to look cute and have my boo by me. He ain't nowhere to be found. That's not true. I'm usually good for at least an hour and a half, two hours. Then after that, then I disappear. Yeah. You know, everybody's like, you having a Christmas Eve? I love the Christmas Eve party, but it's like too much work. He's not involved. You know, I got to get chairs. I got to get it catered. I got to do this. I got to do that. All you do is show up for about a hot 20 minutes and then nobody can find him. Where's Royale? Where's Royale? Where's Royale? Where's Royale? I go upstairs. He's upstairs in his room. I'm like, okay. No, Ebony, I'm not boring.com. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I am boring.com. You are. I hate to say it. Okay. All right. The truth will set you free. Oh, no. Listen. I didn't want to say it. The truth will do more than set you free. The truth will inform you so that you can make some necessary adjustments. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get the information so that I can fix things. I want to get it right. Last thing I want is you walking around with that look on your face <laughs> because that is not. Ooh, you a lot. Ooh. Robert, you, I hear you, Robert. Uh, you know, all you can do is like, what can you do, bro? All you can do is listen to the information. I said, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. It's no, you shouldn't you even are. have a consideration for hurting my feelings. You should have a consideration for being able to get your truth out. Because, again, this goes back to what I was saying about a marriage should not. You shouldn't be in a marriage like in a car and think, oh, you can just put it in drive and step on the gas. And everything is supposed to operate perfectly through that one gear. Right. Like this is a five. This is a stick. You got to be able to hit first gear sometimes. You got to be able to hit second gear. Sometimes you got to go into neutral. You definitely got to keep your hands at 10 and 2 at all times. Pay attention to the road and be able to make this thing this thing along the way. This is a journey. Mm-hmm. You got to pull over sometimes and get the oil changed. Check your fluids. Change the tires. Change the tires. Do all of that. Spark plug. You need a tune-up. Yeah, I might, I'm about to give you a tune-up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, my biggest thing is every year I don't want to be home for Christmas. It is the most painful two weeks of my life. And he doesn't get it. He doesn't prepare for it. He doesn't think January, let me stash $500 a week. I mean, excuse me, a month or whatever the number is. So, when we get to November, we can buy some tickets and get out of here for the two weeks. Nope been saying that since they were babies it ain't never happened only time we want to go away is if i plan it and thank god one of my friends got married over christmas thank you ella that we went to the dominican republic for 10 days during christmas and then i say the same thing come easter break they got another two weeks who wants to be in this house for two weeks doing absolutely nothing we could go to palm springs there's so many places it doesn't have to be extravagant but something have a plan the kids are bored, I'm bored, everybody's sitting in the house, the kids eating us out of house and home, there's nothing to do, go to the movies, once you do that, what else is there to do? I'd rather go to a little town and, you know, wherever, 
and check out the latest galleries or, you know, go shopping or try a new restaurant, look at um, Food Network and see what's happening. I've never been to San Francisco. Go to San Francisco. There's a lot of restaurants on the Food Network and just try one of them. Nada. Hey, Jennifer, thank you for telling your friends about us. If everybody on here tells their friends about us, we can actually double our um our family in the next 30 to 60 days. And we should be trying to do that. But I hear you. You're on your way to San Francisco. Maybe I'll meet you there. No. Let me work. Let you do your... Oh. You hit me in the mouth. I just said you're the one. And no. you posted it anyway, so you can feel free to share that if you yeah, like. But... Okay. Um, yeah, Bay Area. Um, you're not burning any food, right? I just want to double no, check. No, no. Okay. Something's in the oven. I have to go make these Brussels sprouts, so. Oh, Brussels no, sprouts. No, I'm going to cut them up. I'm going to let you make them. Cause you no, no, you, you got this. I'm going to let you, um, I'm going to let you, uh. No, you do the Brussels sprouts. I'll do the broccoli. Wait. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I wanted to try to see if we can invite somebody. Pin. Nope. Can't do that. Uh, let's see if we clicked on this. Nope. We can't. I was going to try to invite somebody to uh, to join the conversation live, but we can't. No. no, it won't work there. That would have been nice. You sh oh, no, that's for us. Yeah, that's for us. Hmm. All right, we're taking all questions right now. If you have a question about relationships, love, and laughter, um, go ahead and throw it in there, and we'll try to answer a few questions before we get back to dinner. I hang out. I hang out in L.A. All the time. The beach is wonderful. I'd love for you to hang out with us. April in L.A., our girl group. They got a girl group, April, so you check out yes. Virgo. Inbox the information to April. She may actually, may actually come hang out with you all. What up, Dr. Walbrook? Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, no, Nicole, I'm actually trying to learn to be more flexible. I'm I'm very honest with, with these things. I am trying. The conversation is just the start. Um, Lord knows I love April two pieces and back again. This woman is my backbone. I only plan to to continue the rest of this journey with her. Um uh and so I have to get it right for her. And this is, a, again, one of the things I try to speak to is that this is the piece that gets missing when, when people come to the table. They can't sit down and have conversations about these things that are a little more challenging, where at least I'm willing to, and even on camera, say, okay, let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. It's not easy for me because I get so caught up in work. I so get caught up. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I get caught up in my work and trying to create um options so that at some point we can kind of tap out what i want to be in my commitment to april is next year we're going to be able to take off for a month two week two two week vacations um i'm focused on this tv opportunity i'm focused on growing this um after i do platform right here on facebook with y'all that's why we continue to do it um uh, but again uh, uh let's Okay, Donnie Anthony, when people come in and say shut up and silly stuff, we block them. So goodbye, sir. Um, it's really simple. Thank you, Facebook, for the block feature. Uh, but again, I'm committed to to creating an environment where you actually are happy and encouraged and feel better about some of the things that I'm going to make adjustments for. And so again, I don't claim to be the perfect husband. Uh, it's all a learning process. I'm trying to figure it out. We got a lot of things in our lives, in our life that are changing. Again, these kids, um, going off is, uh, just, mm -hmm. I can't, e I mean, I can't even process it. Mm -hmm. We put Royce on a plane yesterday to go to New York and, you know, you just, these things you can't take for granted. This kid is 17 years old, will be 18 next year. And we'll be off. We'll be see you later out of the house. Don't make me cry. No, I mean it's so real, and this this um this thing moves fast. I can't can't even begin to tell y'all. For those people that have been married for ten, fifteen, twenty years, 
I'm sure you guys can attest to the fact that it moves so fast that you just can't process it all. And I'm fortunate, you know, I'm fortunate because April and I work really hard. And I think sometimes yesterday I was just taking a second by myself to kind of process some of the stuff is like we've been able to accomplish like some incredible things, like some incredible things. And we made incredible sacrifices. And I think that in a very short period of time, April, meaning you are going to see some things that we're able to like, you know, we pay so much, we pour so much money into our kids' education that we barely, we barely had, we didn't have money to get ourselves gifts this year. I mean, we did, but not really. Not like not we didn't celebrate the way we want to celebrate, mm-hmm. right? Because everything gets poured into them. And with Royce's uh, college now coming up, so much of our focus is on forty, fifty thousand dollars a year for college and not putting our kid in debt. Mm-hmm. And that's something that we absolutely have to pay attention to, right? We don't take these things for granted. So you don't see me with a brand new car. I wish I could get one. Right. I just the the money has to stay here and focused on getting these kids through their education first and then rewarding ourselves later. And I see you. I know it's hard. You look at people that are on vacation, friends that we have that are in certain places on vacation that was like, oh, we should be there with them. Right. But these vacations aren't cheap. When we go on vacation is what, ten, fifteen thousand dollars to take all four of us in the go and do what we want to do. Yeah, but that's why you have to plan. Of course, nobody, it it is what it is. The price is what it is. But you can't decide September, oh, I want to go to, you know, Argentina or wherever in September. It's just not feasible. So you have to start way early. Tammy, that parent sacrifice is so real. But you know what? When I look at it in comparison to, I see so many parents who don't make the sacrifices for their kids. Like, it just, for me, there's no question. Like, we have to do this. We made a decision early on. We just have to remind ourselves about the decision that we made to make these sacrifices. And it's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good at some point, right? It feels horrible. It it feels good to know that they're provided for it. But it feels horrible because I can't do the things that I want to do, can't buy what I want to buy. Everything is for them, and that's fine. But it still hurts. Yeah, but but, it's, um, but we get our life back once the both the two of them. But well, we have a life. Don't say it that way. No, no, we'll no. I don't say. I'm not saying we don't freedom. have a life. We will have the opportunity to yes. realize some things that right now we have we're sacrificing yeah. because of. Yeah, but you know, but I always say everything is doable if we plan. You know, I used to have envelopes like every time we get a check or something, two hundred for this. 300 for that maybe another five for that so it doesn't hit us all at once and if we want to take a trip come june or whatever now we got ten thousand dollars to go ahead and get at least the airline tickets and then you know two three months later figure out the hotel or whatever or if we find great places that have all-inclusive that would be great too but it takes time it's like you got to do the research it's just like your work You, you take hours on the computer You still got to take hours and find the right trip that makes sense for a family of four. It is not cheap. It's a $10,000 trip, no no matter how you look at it. I don't care where we go. Martha's Vineyard, $10,000. Jamaica, that might be $10,000, $12,000. But it's a lot of money because you got to add in food. You got four tickets round trip. And you still got to eat and accommodations. It's a lot of money. But it's doable. Hey, Michael Mallory, yeah, we absolutely have these conversations with our kids. I mean, for the most part, we share with them, you know, and oh, they're I talk aware. To Royce just like that. Yeah, and let him know that there are sacrifices being made, you know, on his behalf. And so he knows how important it is. But, you know, again, he. It's not what was me. It's like, okay, this is what we can afford to do. What within this means, like, what can you figure out? Like, it's never a no. Can we go with. A group of people here. Okay, yes, y'all can go to the restaurant, but here's your limit. And if you can make that work, then you can go. If not, then maybe you should stay home. You know, it's never no. You know what I mean? Like, we have done a really good job based on the school that they go to and what those kids are accustomed to versus what my kids can actually do. There's a nice 
happy medium in there. You know what I mean? They have not missed anything. They they go to the same school. They have decent clothes. They have a car. You know what I mean? It's not a Tesla like some of the kids. They're driving damn, you know, BMWs I ain't never seen, you know. But he has a car. You got four wheels and you can go, you can arrive exactly where he's going because you have a car to get there. You know what I mean? So Royce and Ross have been told and they know. And they're so good with it. You know what I mean? They're not like, Tommy has a private jet and Tommy's dad is a billionaire. Like, you know, hello, you can still go to where we're going, but we get on a commercial flight, you know? So they know, which I love that they're, uh, what's the word? That they can see all of this, that they it's they can see how other people live. But also, if you want to get there, then you're going to have to work hard so you can have that, you know? But until then, you're at the same school, get your education, and figure out how you're going to get there or, you know, do whatever you want to do. But just know the sky's the limit. It's as hard as you gonna work, you can work to get to where you want to be. So if that's what you aspire to do, then go get it. Yeah, I think we make the sacrifices we make on their behalf right now because while while Timmy's dad can afford for them to fly private um, going on their vacation, our hope is that the investment we're making right now will allow our kids to fly private when they decide if they should decide that's the way they want to spend their money. Right. So um, let me just say while we're talking about vacations and so forth, mm-hmm. if you can afford to, you absolutely have to give yourself a vacation once or twice a year. You need that time to decompress. I know that somebody, somebody just now was saying as a single mom, she's not able to afford to, you know, I'm going to pray that the universe blesses you and send some money your way that you can sit aside and take a vacation to step away from the stress of um, like the everyday living, you know, this hustle and bustle. We need a minute. That's the problem with a lot of people in our community is that we don't take the time to step away from the stress of this machine. Right. And so more importantly, or just as importantly, I'm going to say it's important for us as a community to realize the value of sticking together as a community and as a family and as uh, as significant others. Again, just going coming full circle. One of the things I absolutely am paying more and more attention to is the importance of building a successful marriage. Right? We tune in and do this thing live and share a piece of our journey because I want people to see that they even through the challenges, you can figure it out. Me and April do not have a perfect marriage by far but one of the things i know for certain is we have a working marriage and this marriage works because we're doing the work we're having these conversations that are not easy we're talking about what it means to go through the holiday season and not blow money that we don't have trying to either impress each other impress other people or trick our children into thinking that we have something that we don't have we got this little ass Christmas tree this year. I'm going to be keep it 100 with y'all. Every year we go out and purchase a beautiful Christmas tree, right? We usually get like an eight foot tree that costs what, April, $140, $200 with delivery. And we usually get something nice. This year, April's like, I want a tree. We went and got a $50 tree, <laughs> right? From Home Depot. That's we cute. went to Home Depot and got a $50 <laughs> tree. And again, I'm not big on the commercialization of Christmas. This whole idea of tricking you into thinking Santa Claus, like we need to kill. I mean, I, look, I got my own personal feelings about Christmas, right? I don't believe we should be tricking these kids into thinking there's some fat white dude that gets into a suit and giving him all of this credit at the end of the year for the sacrifices that we make as parents to, to feed, clothe, house, and to, you know, bathe and Give provide for them. I'm Santa Claus. Yeah. You tell your kids, like, uh, there ain't no Santa Claus. I'm your parent, and I want to reward you, or I want to create an environment or something for you. But this idea of society tricking us into buying into this commer- commercial, commercial idea of Christmas, excuse me, is crazy to me. All of this Black Friday stuff after Thanksgiving and people hurting and killing and trampling each other to run into Walmart and buy. They, it happens every year. Why do we have to buy into that as a community? Huh? Why? So the rich get richer. So the rich gets richer. We keep 
getting manipulated as a community and buying into these dumbass traditions that don't serve us. We need to stop it, right? Lay away. L- yeah, I mean, all right, lay away ain't that bad. If you can't afford it, you're trying to put something together. I get that because it's the same concept. You okay? Yeah. For material stuff that adds no value to our life. Let's just keep it 100. Chasing material stuff that adds no value to our life. The investment we need to be making right now is in these kids' education, which they are trying to steal from us. We need to be investing into systems that create wealth for us and our children. All right, now I'm about to start going all the way in because now I'm getting pissed. Um, And into teaching our kids the importance and the strength of what family looks like, right? Modeling for them the importance of getting into relationships where they want to provide for a family, right? Where we need to start talking to these kids and going into these communities and telling them to put these damn guns down and pick up a book and making the sacrifice to get beyond what's getting ready to start happening to these communities where they started stripping all of the resources out of the community and having us fight each other and kill each other over the nickels and dimes that they throw back to our community and that our kids, right? These entry-level jobs that used to give these kids an opportunity to learn structure are being wiped out of the inner city. They're going to automate all of these restaurants, right? And so you won't have, we struggling over a minimum wage job, you won't have that job at all. Our kids at 15, 16, 17 years old who used to have Wendy's, McDonald's, McDonald's, fast food opportunities available to them, those jobs won't be available. So what's going to be there? Those entry-level positions that used to get them over the hump, that used to provide for them and give them hope, a little bit of money in their pocket. When those jobs go away, then what? Everything is automation. Then what? McDonald's is... Then what becomes of these kids that are so desperate and looking for an opportunity? They become subjective to what? Remember the lady we watched today? They get ready to snatch Section 8. They right? get ready. They're snatch slashing so much money out of Section 8. You're not people on Section 8. You, you're about to. It's going to be real hard for y'all. It's going to be real bad for y'all. So I'm just saying, you as a community, as a community of people, right? We about to start paying attention because. The conservative approach to government is about to rob our neighborhoods of so many things, so many privileges that we took for granted for the last eight years that is going to rock our communities. And we about to brace ourselves and start to position ourselves to be able to learn to support each other. And learn to support each other. It doesn't have to be rough. We have to just dig in as a community and get back to being able to support one another instead of trying to stick each other up and rob each other of opportunities and trying to hurt each other. Right. We got to get back to the basics of building up our communities first and stop taking every dollar we got and dumping it into somebody else's community and somebody else's pocket for the sake of trying to look a certain way. All right. The hair industry, the, the the Asians got that locked down. We could wipe them out. Stop getting hair. Yeah, Stacey Jones, that's what I'm saying. Stop we got to get hair. our priorities in order as a community, as a people. We got to get back to the importance of what it means to be, to to uh to support one another. I know I'm being a little redundant, but it just it it annoys me so much, right? And when I see people that's not being responsible to the men to the men right now. I look to brothers, to men, to be the strength and pillars of these community because that's what we were supposed to be or are supposed to be. We're supposed to be the strength of these communities. We're supposed to be able to offer these young men out here some guidance, right? With some mentorship, some modeling. I saw a video recently of a young brother working in a fast food restaurant and a na- man named Mr. Green, if you yeah. guys saw the video, the daughter the daughter knew that the young man was having a hard time and asked her father to bless that man, that young man who was working and having a hard time, right? And so the father said, I'm going to sow into your life 
and the daughter asked him to put a zero onto whatever the tip was going to be. And the father decided he was going to go further than that and gave that young man $300 cash, right? And so that's the type of influence that we need to be making in these communities. So that that young man, first thing he says, you just paid off my car, right? That's impact. And secondly, what he put into that young man's life, not just that young man's life, because he certainly moved mine. And he put me in a position where my prayer is that I ask the universe, God, to bless me so that I may be a blessing to the next person. Right. That's impact. That's the type of impact that dude ain't no. I don't know him to be a millionaire. He ain't playing ball. Or he you know, right. I don't he just looked like a. a a, a everyday blue collar worker to me, whoever Mr. Green is, he looked like a cat that just said, look, this is an opportunity that I have. That $300 is going to have $3 million worth of impact on, on people, yeah. on, on people watching the video. Who's going right. to feel like I want to be like Mr. Green. Right. I don't need to dunk like LeBron. I don't need to catch a ball like Des Bryant. I don't need to build a record company like Sean P. Diddy Combs. I want to have the impact of a Mr. Green. So, I uh, all right. Um, we got dinner. I I, I just want y'all to be a blessing to each other. I want y'all to realize the value value that we have in these communities to support one another, and I want y'all to be uh to have a beautiful 2017. I want you guys to realize the power that you have, and not be victims of of 2017. But go into 2017 knowing that you have the ability to make change. Mm -hmm. It starts in these relationships. It starts with these families. It starts with empowering these kids to know that they can be a difference, to know that they can make change. And uh, and more importantly, just to go out here and, and, uh, and spread love, man, because we need it. All right? Yeah. I think we need to mentor some kids. I think we need to continue to mentor some relationships and marriages first. Because when we start mentoring uh, people in these marriages and, and creating healthy marriages, then the trickle down effect is going to be marriages, some healthy relationships. 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 I say relationships. Because, Absolutely. Um, the men are out there being, everybody's being reckless. You know, men are having babies by women they don't even like. They don't even, you know, that's for the rest of your life. And they're walking away. And it's just so unfair. You know, don't be with a woman if you can't see yourself raising a child or being with them. Like, why would you do that? Why would you have a kid and leave that kid with an angry mother because she's mad at you because you just walked away? They don't want to stay with you. They just want it what they want and well, they that got gets, it. That gets back into something that we discussed before, which we need to discuss in another, in another live Everybody situation. Everybody has to do better because it's not fair for the kids. We all have to do better. Women Seriously. have to be... Um, be picky. Like... Why are you going to be with Make better he's choices. Or he's got a girl. That's like, about making better choices. Rayshawn, do black lives matter? Come on. What are you talking about? Absolutely. You're not paying attention to what we're talking about? Um. All right. Let me get off of this thing. Ready, ready to go make this dinner? We got to make some plates. Um. Listen. Relationships, love, and laughter. It's your man, Royale Watkins. It's April Watkins. Coming. We love y'all. You should have your T-shirts. If you have not already, please feel free to private message us a photo of you and your T-shirt. We'll post what up, it April? What and up, say dog? thank what you. <clears throat> um, Chalk is also about self-esteem. I will agree with you, but it's also about knowing your self-worth and what you bring or have the opportunity to bring to society. Mm -hmm. uh, we've not been taught our self-worth. That's the problem. And it's not been showcased in TV and film the right way. So, but again, I'm not, y'all show some love on the way out. Throw up them hearts on the way out because, uh, again, we have a habit. Right. Oh, we didn't go see Fences yet, but I'm going to take April to see Fences tomorrow. Tomorrow. We will go see it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I want to see. I can't wait. We love y'all. Again, our goal is to take and flip our 50. We got 57,000 people what? following us on this page. That's so nice. <clears throat> we I'm should so be able to excited. flip this thing and get it up to 100,000. And when we get like, to 100, remember we was at 10,000? Yeah, we was like 10,000. We was like, woo, we at 57. 57 That's headed towards 60,000. Y'all should tell your friends to tell more Thank friends you. about the realest I couple really on Facebook, April and Royale. We love y'all to pieces. We're going to continue to grow together. If you have questions, feel free to inbox us. 
And um, anything you want to say? You want to give me a kiss? Yeah, I love you, but you gonna have to. You gonna have to work. Mm. You gonna have to work, boo. We doing the work, boo. Do I'm work. gonna do the work, boo, because love is the glue. Love is the glue. All right, we gotta go. I gotta feed him. Yeah, you gotta See, feed him. I'm and mad listen. at him, but I still be feeding him real good from scratch. Oh, but I need some biscuits. I'm not making no damn biscuits. Oh my god, no, we were biscuits. so no, we were like we're almost. You know, yeah, I click on the link and watch that video, that Mr. Green video. Oh, I need some biscuits. No, I don't even feel like making them. I mean, you mac and cheese from scratch. Do candy yams from scratch. Stop. The t-shirts will be available. We'll do another t-shirt campaign in January or February. All right? But um, let's just continue to but grow the page. Nicole let's just control, continue. And to, you going to say bye on the way out? And Sheena Jenkins. And Lorraine. Marshall, we shot everybody on the way out. And Tammy, and Tammy McCall. work. All right. And Shakita Parker, hey, and Dawn Glover, you made those biscuits. Who's that, Tangela? Tangelia. Tangelia. Jennifer O'Neill was Tangelia. Oh, I think okay. it's Tangelia. Who's that, Chandra? Laura? Maria? I'm telling you, I hope this, my shirt feels so good Sid, right now. Sid, what is that, Sidnana? Sammy McNeil? Oh, McCall. Jennifer Lampert. Hey, Jennifer. All right, we got to go. Isaac. Say goodbye. All right, goodbye. Heartbeat, heartbeat, heartbeat. All right, goodbye. Bye.